Come on, Lisa. Welcome to the Lisa Baxter Show. I see now that you came to spend a great evening with me. So sit up, lay back, whatever you need to want to do, because I got the dynamic duel on my show today from the Polycystic Kidney Foundation, the PKD New York City chapter. None other than we got. Let me see now. Let me let me read it right, because I don't want no trouble. Uh, we got Meg and Sarah, but it's Meg Minutes and Sarah Giller. Come on, girls. Welcome on to the Lisa Baxter Show. Hi, Thank Lisa. Lisa. Hi. Hi, girls. How you doing? Good. Thank you for Thank you. inviting us. We're very honored to be part of your show. Well, you know, we travel in the same circles. That's right. We do a lot of things together. We're at the kidney club. We were together doing a presentation yeah. about polycystic kidneys and what have you. And we also, we were at the, uh, the walk, yeah. the polycystic kidney disease walk together mm -hmm. and everything. You had your table set up and I couldn't walk this time. So I was working the tables. So <laughs> it's just always good to see you even at the chap the meeting chapters that we, we have once a month sometimes. Yeah. Right. The feeling so, mutual. Yeah, oh, I'm just loving on you guys. I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't even know what to do or say, but I, I do know what to do and say I have it. But, you know, but what I like to ask you is, um, first of all, um, what is the PKD chapter? Chapter? Um, yes. That's uh, every every kind of part of the state or state has a group that's led by volunteers because it's a national organization and they can't do everything out of Kansas City. We want to be more local, more hands-on. Yes, so we yes. kind of take care of the New York City people who are in any way affected with PKD. Um, and we are the co-coordinators and we welcome anybody to come and join us. We have monthly meetups. And uh, you know, because you, yes. you've been to a few of them and they're kind of yes. fun. We oh, have, yeah. We have speakers and we have food, which is always got to have food, right? Got to have food. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> got to have food. Anything yeah. else? Um, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we started uh, working together, I guess, a couple of years ago. Sarah was doing solo. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, I didn't like going solo. I appreciate, Lisa, <laughs> that you go solo, but I don't like it. I like oh. to have somebody with me. Well, I had no choice about going solo. You know, sometimes, you know, you have to put yourself out there and for the greater cause. And yeah. even if you quiet or anything like that, there's nothing like sickness to bring it out of you. I'm telling you something, you know, well, you, you know, because I mean, I have polycystic kidney disease and, and it has affected my family, but you also have it, right? Yes, I have it myself. Yeah. Okay. I, that's, mm -hmm. that's, that's, um, my mother had it and uh, okay. my dad had it. It was, okay. yeah, it was a long, long time ago before dialysis, before anything. Wow. I, mm -hmm. I was lucky enough to be diagnosed more, you know, recently. So I got yeah. the benefit of a transplant. Right. Well, did you experience dialysis at all? No, I did not. You lucky. lucky. I had 12 lucky. long years of it. Wow. You know, but God brought me through, but um, that's beautiful. I'm the only, I only know a few people that have escaped dialysis. They went straight to the transplant. What a what a what a wonderful idea, you know? What a wonderful idea, you well, know? Di so, dialysis is no picnic. No, mm -hmm. it's not. It's doable, but it's no picnic. You 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 just gotta work with it, work through it. You know, work with the people that's you know giving you the treatment. Work with yourself. Work with your family. You do that, and you 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 know. I mean, you could and definitely pray. You you can get through with it. You know. So you guys, I can't believe y'all are volunteer coordinators. You know, sometimes people volunteer and they do it halfway or a little bit, but you couldn't tell me it wasn't your job. That's all I'm going to say about you. You <laughs> couldn't tell me it wasn't your job. Oh, that's, that's how well you guys do it. Oh, thanks. I feel like I'm not doing enough. Like, I'm like, what more can I do? You know, that's why we wanted to do the monthly meetups, which we do at the Rogerson Institute on third, last Thursday of each month. And yeah, I work with them now. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm one of the health ambassadors there. Oh, part time. Really? Yes, oh. yes. I, I love it. I love it. Yeah. I really do. You know? Now, the good thing about the chapters, they spread out because I had uh, contacted one in Sacramento and I had uh, contact, you know, different ones in different places to try to interview them as well. 
I'm out there to get some people for everything from every walk of life so they can see the different things that kidney people deal with, you know, mm -hmm. from a family point of view, from a, a friend, I don't care what point of view, but to get it out there to just show them what, what goes on with us and what we do. Yeah. You know, yeah. you agree? Absolutely. I mean, that was another motivation for our meetup just because we feel like there's so many different types of people, um, mm. family members, caregivers that are also affected by the disease. So for yes. me, I'm a mother of a seven-year-old that has uh, PKD. So okay. it's, it's a baby. I think about it all the time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I want to make sure I'm feeding him the right food, make sure he's doing the right kind of exercise. And, um, you know, so if I'm feeling that way, then I know there's other people out there. So we just want to like reach out to anybody who is affected by the disease and bring them yes. together and discuss their experiences. And I think they can help each other. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes yes. they, they get information from each other, resources, and it's such a good, you know, source of information for people, each other. Network. Resources. Yeah. Network. Yeah. Network. Share information. Yeah. I mean, we can share each other's thoughts, feelings, and pain. You know, yeah. that's what it's all about. It helps the other person get through. Mm -hmm. You know, each one reach one. And if yeah. you're going through the same thing I'm going through or dealing with or have a child or something, then we can kind of help each other out. Mm -hmm. You right. know, we can kind of help each other out. Now, what? Um, how did you become the volunteer? Okay, we know that you are, but how did you become? Somebody else might want to become. Oh. Well, um, when I started with the, the chapter, it was going through a big transition. The, the previous coordinator had just left and there was nobody at the helm, so to speak. Oh, yeah, so, I heard about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, it was, there was upheaval in New York City. Mm -hmm. And uh, somebody from the foundation at an event in H the Hudson Valley approached me and said, you know, there's a void. Would you like to fill it? And I just said, OK, sure. I didn't really quite realize what I was getting into. Uh, but, we got but, you now. You can't get away. Yeah, Too late. Yes, yeah, we done reeled you in. Yeah. I didn't quite realize. And then there I was. And all of a sudden, I was the coordinator because there was nothing else there. And um, I kind of plotted along a little bit until Meg came along. And, and she she's just been the energy behind all of this. Well, you I feed off of each other. Yeah. I see you feed off of each other. Yeah. You know, I have some crazy ideas. And then <laughs> Sarah's like, Meg, no. <laughs> or Rain sometimes Meg, yeah, that's good. Go do it. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> well, then how did you enter? Because she, she came through them asking her or presenting her. But what about you? Um. So just to sort of like tag on what I've said before. So I was, mm -hmm. you know, a mother baby. and mm -hmm. a baby and I just mm -hmm. couldn't find anybody locally that I could talk to. And, and I had so many ideas, like, why aren't we like, you know, why aren't people yeah. talking about this? Why aren't we bringing speakers? Brainstorming, go on girl. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, Sarah had like, um, like a coffee chat, like a get together at a coffee shop and um, so I showed up and I said, I want to. She was one. like the only one who showed up. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, wow. <laughs> but this is where the dynamic duel was born, huh? Right. It was ah. nice to be. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but we're always looking for volunteers. Mm -hmm. Like, we need help with like social media. Mm -hmm. There's so much to be done. On, that's like I'm a, sure. a part time sure. job. Really? Yeah. Really? Well, what is your yeah. website? You have a website or something you could put out there in case somebody wanted to contact them, it, or you? Yes. Um, so, if you go to the PKD Foundation's website, which is uh, pkdcurecure.org. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can uh, just look for a local chapter. And so each chap local chapter has their own uh, website off the foundation site. So you can okay. contact us through there. And then we also have a Facebook page uh, for PKD Foundation New York City Chapter. Um, so you can reach us through there. And so you have it. heard it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> every, uh, the last Thursday of every... Well, not every single month, but every month, um, barring December, I think. And and mm -hmm. uh, come to our meetups. Uh, mm -hmm. Email. Yeah, they were in Manhattan from like what was it, six to eight or six thirty to eight thirty, something like that. I couldn't remember exactly. 
six thirty to eight. Uh huh. See? So the, yeah. So the next one is uh, next week, next March. Week. And Rosenfels, right? Yes. Give them the address. You know what? What was it? Five oh five or something? Five oh five. Ooh, I'm good. Didn't I? Ooh, I didn't. are good. <laughs> you're the health ambassador. Oh, <laughs> you could have cut it out. Floor. Do you know what floor? It's our second floor. Second floor. Second floor. Yes. Second floor. Yeah. And you know, this this month we have a speaker on organ donation, actually. So that should I be. Oh, cool. I got the letter. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, we're really excited because the organ donation is so hot right now like everyone wants to talk burning about up it. very hot yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. really um you know help the 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 le long list of people that are waiting for transplants yeah we got to spread the word about live donation live organ yeah. donation yeah and, um so this person's going to talk all about it we're so excited well that's good because so many people are scared and you know i'm a donor myself and i received a kidney not only you know if god forbid something happened to me i had said this last week but you know, people are scared and nervous. And I think if you take the fear out or the <laughs> nervous out, I, I think any type of operation or pulling out a couple of organs would just about scare anybody. You right. think of, you know, I don't know, you think of Hermit Monster or something creepy or something, <laughs> you know, like you've been built or put together. But all of those things you get, you, you don't know that it's not really like that until you actually do it. Right. So once I think once we can kind of convince them or you know, educate them. Because if you educate it about something, you make a better decision. Yeah. In everything. Absolutely. That's true. Yeah. yeah. You know, you make a better decision. But, well, what, what what's the best thing that has happened to you since you've been a volunteer coordinator? What was one of the best stories you have or the best things? Well, I wish you would have given us a little time and <laughs> asked that question so I could come up with a really good answer. Oh, come on. They're deep down in there. Trust yeah. me, I could pull a story out of anything. <laughs> I mean, you know, you name it, I got a story, <laughs> you know, but I ain't mad at you. I mean, OK. A no, I think, okay. Uh, what is OK? If it's the best story or what was one of the best things that happened? You know, one of them, some of that stuff stick with you. I know it is. Come on, somebody in there. Come on, y'all. <laughs> well, just. Recently, we've been running the meetup now for a little bit more than a year, and we have a few regulars now, and just the feedback that we get from them is just so heartwarming. You know, yes. they they were lost. You know, they were going to a nephrologist that, you know, didn't really see the urgency because, you know, mm. PKD patients are sometimes the healthier mm. patients. Yeah. Uh, kidney patients that they have. They have a lot of, you know, people who come to them uh, in renal failure. So um, PKD patients are usually like a little bit healthier. Um, mm -hmm. So sometimes you don't get a lot of attention from a nephrologist. So coming to our meetup, people have been able to share, um, yeah. you know, nephrologists that they think do a good job and just oh. resources. So we've gotten a lot of feedback that like we have changed, you know, people's course of um, you know, their medical trajectory. They've been able to, you know, they have a new path now, a healthier path uh -huh. because oh, that's like good. the right doctors. And um, so, mm -hmm. yeah, so, yeah, exactly. It's not, people don't have, you know, PKD is not one of those diseases that is in the open. Yeah. Um, a lot of it's like it's under a rock island. somewhere. Yeah, it's yeah, like exactly. it's under a rock. So having the meetup, they it's a it's a safe space for people to talk and share, and um, we feel so like privileged to provide that for people. Well, that's good because having if I was not having a good doctor, I had a fantastic doctor. My mm -hmm. nephrologist is good. They he he knew my my a primary doctor. They worked together to help me. That's the kind of stuff I like. That's key. You need to have a dream team. Yeah, you got to advocate for yourself. You know what oh, I mean? Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Question that doctor, question that nurse. You're not being smart or trying to be difficult. You yeah. just want to say in your care, right? Don't you? Don't we all do? Mm -hmm. A little say in our care. What well, are you, you doing? Them? You know your body better than anybody. Come on. Mm -hmm. So Preach. you have to make sure that they know what's going on with you because nobody else knows you or cares about you as much yeah. as you do. Or your family, well, maybe. They care about you, too. <laughs> yeah. Well, I once told a doctor that um, I, I, do, I have a degree because I'm a social worker, but the degree I have in my body is way past the degree you have. 
you know, way past the degree. Oh. Was that your finger? Way past. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't want to have an opportunity. No, that's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're in this together. No, don't hide. Don't run either. Don't run. Don't hide. Don't run. You guys are doing a good job. Don't worry. You, you're almost there. We, we run into that finish line. Don't worry. We're almost there. So that's one of your success stories. What was a story or what, since you've been a, a coordinator, what, what maybe was your worst story? Sometimes I feel maybe not getting enough people or enough people don't come to the meeting. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's my, that's what I see, but I don't know. It might not be the same thing. That, what, it, that, it's, it's, it's very discouraging. I think when you, when you put together a meeting or you, you, you focus so much and you get all these things together and then it's like giving a party and nobody shows up, you yeah. know, it, it's, it's very discouraging and frustrating. And I felt yeah. that a lot when I was by myself. Yes. I was trying so hard, and in a city like New York City, where there Which are big, a lot yes. of people, a lot of them, and where are they all? I they weren't coming out. I, I what was I doing wrong? You know, no. that's how you feel. I'm doing yeah. something wrong. Yeah, so no. I you didn't do anything that. wrong. Some <laughs> people are coming from work. Some people have kids. Some people don't have a babysitter. Some people don't want to learn anything about their illness or sickness because some that's of them have like a a blind eye to it. I don't know, no, no, no evil here, no evil see, no evil. Right. And you gotta because I used to give parties at the uh, Dallas Center on a Sunday. Now I, I love church, and that's all I do is go to. I love church, but I told them you can't just come to this one time. I mean, I'm sure God will understand. You know, I'm not trying to tell you not to ever go to church, but this one thing where we can get together where we're not being sick, we having fun. Nobody's mm -hmm. sticking nothing in your mouth, in your arm, down your throat, choking you. <laughs> nothing is a party. So, I mean, I would have stuff. They said, no, I don't want to see that center if it ain't time for me to go to dialysis. Mm -hmm. So this is what you got to know what you're working with. Maybe you need a, um, a survey or something to see what to get them there. Maybe the dialysis centers don't know about you. I've been going to that kidney club for a long time. They get a handful of people all the time. I don't get it. And their thing is every other month. Mm -hmm. And we have something, what, in May, May 5th mm -hmm. um, with the uh, kidney champions. My good friend, Miss Dawn, and she yeah. wanted me to invite you two girls to have a table. Steve said yeah. he already got his table because he's coming anyway. So I know he's coming to New York, New York. Come on, Steve. We're going to get you when you get here. <laughs> so, yeah. So, cool. you know. Yeah. What time so, is that? Hmm? What's the time for it? It was supposed to be from three to seven. We, okay. we have like a long range thing, like three to seven. It's in a, like an auditorium. Um, different, uh, different patients show their gifts and talents. So if you could, I'm doing an acting thing. They have me doing drama stuff. Oh. I, I would have oh even God. sung or something. So, you know, and everybody's doing something different. You have poets there. You have, you know, you have a little bit of everybody. So we come. Oh. And the first time she did it, I, one of the times it snowed really terrible and it was, it was a nice, nice handful of us, but we still had a blast. Sometimes you got to have fun with them little bit of people because them little right. bit of people can go back and get some more people. So if they right. have fun, maybe it'll grow. You know, I told two friends and she told two friends and so on. So, you know, that old commercial, you know, but <laughs> you know, it, it, it'll get bigger. We're going to help it to get bigger. We're going to talk about some stuff when this is over and we're going to find a way to try to make it get bigger. Okay. Yeah. That yeah. would be great. I mean, I think that's our second success story is meeting you and like working with you. Like I, you have, I don't know how you do it, but you like reach out every, every time I turn around, you're like doing something <laughs> oh or winning something or. <laughs> <laughs> this kind of thing so, make you like, driven because. Nobody know about us. We don't have a, a something on television. We don't. And I've been trying to reach out to uh, TV programs and actors and actress and the news and all kind of people. And I email them. I text them. I call them. I leave a message. Sometimes I get a promise and it doesn't fall through. But I said one of these days they're going to do it. Yeah, they're going to do it one of these days because we need we need to be out there. And, and be told stuff. I even wrote plays and stuff about, you know, dialysis or the, the chair, the corner or some, some you know, I wrote a song. I, I wrote all kind of stuff trying to get it out there where people don't understand because they don't know. They don't even know what dialysis is. You can forget PKD. Don't start right. doing letters and stuff, abbreviations. They don't know. Jack, you know, mm -hmm. but this is why we got urban. 
the Urban uh, Health Outreach Media Network. We had YouTube. We have Facebook. We have all of these different things. Now, getting mm -hmm. people to watch it is another thing. So you invite your family to watch it and your friends, all mm -hmm. kind of stuff, just to get it out there. Well, you it's know? a beginning. It's a beginning, and then it will grow from there. That's the way it has to start, I guess. And, you know, we'll we'll join together, join mm -hmm. forces, and yeah. do what we need. We're here for you. Mm -hmm. Whatever you need, we're here for you. And we want to, to reach more people, you know, more people in the outer boroughs. Why is it only Manhattan? There are people living in the outer boroughs. Right. Like I live in Queens. Yeah. I live in the Bronx. And that's where know. most of the dialysis centers are, too. Mm. So. Wow. Are they, are they, yeah. So so we want to reach other people, you know, people yes. from all different walks of life, because mm -hmm. PKD affects everybody. everybody. Yeah. So. You see generations there. in those walks and marches. You see generations of family and people. And sometimes, even if it's a couple of them, the whole family will walk just for the cause. The whole family will raise money just for the cause. Mm -hmm. I scraped up some money myself. I, you know, I asked a few people. Usually, I just give the money myself because people get all tight and quiet when you ask for money. <laughs> Where is it going? What you doing with it? Is it in your pocket? You know, I said, mail it if you got to. Write the check and mail it. You ain't got to put it in my hands. Take it. Go. You know, as long as it gets to where it's going, somebody will get some healing, some encouragement. Point about the foundation, the walk, all of the, the money raised from the walk goes straight to research. The research. foundation doesn't even take a penny of it for overhead or anything like that. It goes straight to research. Yeah, which they get these cysts so off like my kidney. Really that's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they don't give it to us either. No, <laughs> for sure. No, definitely a volunteer ain't get no money. I'm a volunteer myself in the hospital. No, they ain't giving a volunteer any money. They may give you a ribbon or something. Yes. Yes. Yeah, they're going to give you a ribbon, an accolade, or maybe even a dinner. Right. I'm having a dinner next month with Jamaica Hospital. So, you know. Oh, that's nice. Well, that's See, nice, so too. Good. You're out there. Yeah, I, I'm grateful. You're you know, right I'm, grateful. I'm grateful. I'm <laughs> grateful, you know. So if a person wanted to be a volunteer, I want you to tell them what can they do to become a volunteer? Uh, reach out to us on Facebook. It's the PKD Foundation New York City chapter. Um, we also have um, through the, the PKD org, or PKCure.org site, you can reach us. And our email is New York City chapter. chapter at mm -hmm. org. Work. Um and Excellent. we are we do need a volunteer for a walk. We don't have a walk coordinator this right, year. Right. So we right. some oh. are real good at like event planning. Mm -hmm. and they love to that do stuff like great. that. That's right. That's Get that pitch out there. Tell it that's what we need. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we also need a social media person. Yeah. Because Meg's too busy and I'm too inept. So <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, I have some some hard things with the, the social media stuff, too. I'm better than I was, though. Getting better. Yeah. You got to work at it. Yeah, I you do yeah, have to work at I'm it. I'm too old. You can't it teach an changing. old dog tricks. No, and no, no. 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 Ooh, you ain't no dog. Cut that out. You're beautiful. <laughs> You're beautiful. Now, if a person had a child dealing with PKD, what would you tell them? Um, I would say for sure go to the, the PKDcure.org. There's a, they are updating that website all the time. So they have a lot of information right now about kids. Yes, they do. They're having um, a conference in May. That's why I can't go to the May 5th oh. uh, event. Oh, right. right. You told me. Yeah. They're having a PKD and children conference in uh, I wish Chicago. I could go to that too. Yeah, wow. So you mm -hmm. like learn all the cutting edge information. There's like, you know, the best doctors in the country are speaking. And they're gonna. Ooh. So you, you learn. Bring me some of that information back. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so definitely check it out if you mm. you know have the resources to travel um, in the time. But if not, like just reach out. I feel like just having other people who are in the same situation helps mm -hmm. a lot. It, it does. It really does. And there's a lot of webinars on the PKD site. You know. Um, oh. That's true, that you can listen to then, on your own. Right, that you can, if mm -hmm. the topic interests you, you just sign in and listen to it, register for it and listen to it, and you can do that at home. So that that's... Wow. Um, the, well, then that's good. And this is what we wanted to do. So now you got the chapter out there, you got your 
your your story out there and you told them what to do. I appreciate you both coming on. I re appreciate you both being uh, in cahoots with me to get this stuff out there. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. And thank you so much. Thank you, yes. Lisa. Whatever we can do for you, we'll, we'll do it. Uh, oh, now we a trio. I ain't mad right. at you. <laughs> All right like now. Tears. Thank oh, you. well. Well, you have a great night. Thank you All for right. being on the Lisa Baxter show. Yay. Giving a 411 in the kidney world. Peace, Amen. love, and a million blessings. Oh, right. thanks, Lisa. Thank, Thank you. You too. Bye-bye.